Well, as anchors, we bring you the news. It involves reading it from a teleprompter. See, it looks like this teleprompter. Jason's running it for me, so the words are kind of moving up and down the screen there. But a lot of what we say at times is improvisation. We're used to thinking on our feet, so an improv class would be cake, right? Oh, not exactly. It's time to bring back Daybreak Adventures. Number one, have fun. Unscripted fun is just what we need. A little, yeah. That's Shayna Merlin, founder of Merlin Works, an improv comedy school based at Zach Theater. We're gonna play a game of rock, paper, scissors. We met up with her at Bellard Lake Park. One, two, rock, three, paper, three, scissors, shoot. shoot. Easy oh, enough game for an icebreaker. One, two, three, show. Oh, you won! Oh, I cheated! And man, Jason was on fire. Rule number two, dare to fail. And I forget to come back and turn my mic back on. So when you mess up, you want to try and laugh it off. <laughs> I fail! <laughs> Let it go. And Kenneth had to come and bail me out, jump start it in the parking garage, so that was a big failure. And try again, build that resilience muscle. My sister-in-law was driving, and I told her to go the wrong way on a one-way, I failed! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love it! <laughs> the wrong way? Mistakes are expected and encouraged as a sign of risk taking. After all, a mistake is what introduced her to improv in the first place. The team of the 90s. It was 1995. The Braves were in the World Series and then 17 year old Shayna was oblivious. Me and my theater nerd girlfriends went downtown in Atlanta to see some improv and we got to the theater and they were like, oh, darling, there's no show. Like the Braves are in the World Series tonight. So they just handed us a stack of free passes and we just kept coming back every weekend uh, to come see these shows. Little did she know. I got bit by the bug. Those free passes would alter the course of her life. So we're gonna play a little schoolyard game. And her hope is that improv encourages others to go with the flow. And rule number three. And become more mindful. Be a good sport. I do work at Dell Medical School and teach the medical students how to be better doctors and better humans and more compassionate. Her classes sneak learning in with laughter. Whoosh, 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 bang. Whoosh. Whoosh. Pow. 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 We're having fun, Pow. but we're becoming better listeners and learning how to gel as a team. Can I get a person's name from the crew? Perhaps her favorite exercise? Eustwiss. Okay. Was tag team monologue where... All right, y'all. My name is Eustwiss, and, you know, growing up, I used to always be crazy about them dinosaur bones. We get to finish each other's sentences. She is older than dinosaurs. I don't know. <laughs> we went with it. <laughs> After all, improv is kind of a way of life. So I think we're all improvising. We're improvising when we're making dinner for our kids. We're improvising when we're uh, making sales at work. You know, we're all making stuff up on the spot without enough time, information, and resources. So we're all improvising, but everybody can get better at it. Give yourselves a hand, you guys! Fantastic! We were crying. We were laughing so hard. We were crying. Classes can run anywhere from one to three hours. They've been held on Zoom for the past year, but now they're starting to do distanced outdoor classes like we did. It was nice. Interestingly enough, Shane also does improv for couples to help them communicate better and diffuse situations. So if you want to know more about Merlin Works, you can just go to our website, kv.com. But guys, we had a blast. I figured, I, I figured out. I think you might be a stegosaurus. <gasps> I could be a stegosaurus with lashes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what, yes, yes. But I do have T-Rex arms. My arms are really short, especially when I'm taking pictures. You think pictures. so? Yes. I don't know how everybody has these long arms to take pictures, and mine is like right here. I mean, mine stretches from 35 to Mopex, so you I have, guess. You have some long <laughs> arms, yeah. You are not a T-Rex. All right. <laughs>